So someplace in your organization, there's an exchange server. And in that exchange server, there's a mailbox. And that mailbox has a limit on its size. It could be pretty low or it could be very high, depending on how your IT department has determined they want to support a lot of user storage. So I meet users who have a mailbox capped at 2 gigabytes. I meet users who have a mailbox capped at 200 megabytes. And I meet users that haven't reached their limit yet, and I'm not sure why. So how do you find out how much space you're using in your mailbox? Now, your mailbox is everything here. Some people think it's just your inbox, but it's not. It's anything that's currently in deleted items or sent items or drafts. It's your calendar appointments and contacts and tasks. But you don't want to try to manage the smallest things. What you care about is what the largest things are. To find out how much space your mailbox is taking up, just point to where it says your name, or it might say your name dash mailbox. And right now I'm using just slightly less than 26 megabyte of my mailbox space. I'm not going to worry about this yet. I surely have more room than this. But what if I'm close and what happens if I go over? Well, based on policies that are set in your organization, you will first get some emails that say, hey, you've got too much stuff taking up space in your mailbox and you'll be encouraged to delete some things. There's also the ability to escalate that so that eventually if you don't clean some things out, you can't send or receive any more email and you don't want it to get to that point. So if you take a look and you're close on space, what are the strategies that we can use to attack this? First, you don't want to waste your time getting rid of 20 small messages when knocking two or three big ones out of the park would actually do exactly what you need. So I would begin normally in my inbox and I would choose to look at this a little bit differently. Rather than conversations by date, I'll turn off conversations and say, show me my inbox by size. So I have some medium things in it and some tiny things in it. So again, getting rid of tiny things is not really going to help. Maybe getting rid of some medium things. So what else is taking up space? Before I forget, I'm simply going to go back and change my default view back to what it was. Let's go to my send items folder. This is also ranged by size and look. Very large. There's actually a group. This is called smart grouping, that it's actually grouping them by size with descriptions like, very large, small, tiny. There's actually a descriptor called huge when you have things that are big enough. So if I got rid of this one email here, it would be as if I had gotten rid of 50 in this category or thousands in this smaller category. So I have a couple of choices. One is I can open this up and I can say, oh, okay, well, this item here, I just want to get this gone. So I could either say, I don't need this email at all and delete it. Now, when I delete it here, where's it going to go? Well, it's going to go to my deleted items folder. And by the way, that's still taking up space too. So now what I want to do is actually empty my deleted items folder and get rid of these items. This is the only big one, but I'm going to right click my deleted items folder, choose empty deleted items and say yes. Now, if you were watching an earlier movie, you know that these deleted items actually are still in storage on the server, but they're not in my territory anymore, even though I could recover from there. So when I go take a look, you'll notice that my mailbox is now half a meg smaller because that one single file is gone. So to find out your mailbox size, click here. And to be able to manage your items to get rid of things efficiently, just switch to any view, arrange it by size, and focus on removing the largest items you can that you can get rid of.